So tell me, are you feeling lucky? Hey everyone, Kristen Som here, and I want to know, are you feeling lucky? It's a pretty special day. It is 2-22-22, so that is pretty amazing, but it was snowing here today, so honestly I'm not feeling super lucky, but that's okay. We finished our vase block, the one with the clovers and flowers in the vase, and that one took a lot of work, a lot of time, because they had to show it in so many different variations. But it wasn't a difficult block, but just the tutorial part took a long time. So for that part, I'm feeling pretty lucky. That one is done. <laughs> I'm happy to have that one done. So if you're following along, we have the first six blocks done, and now we have number seven with our clover vase. I haven't attached it yet just because I didn't have time, but I will soon. So I'm going to jump right into the Lucky Us block, and I'm sure you're excited to join me on this one because it's an easy one. I'm excited about it. All right, so for the fabrics today, all we need is this one fabric. It is the green doodly flowery fabric in cut size six and a half by six and a half. And make sure to back this with fusible stabilizer. We are going to use that um, Lucky Us wording on it, so we want to make sure that that doesn't pucker. So six and a half by six and a half, backed with fusible stabilizer, no applique pieces, no other fabrics, very, very easy. So on this one, I am going to quilt it with plaid one. Um, the official directions use plaid two, so if you have plaid two, go for, go for that. I'm gonna use plaid one because that's what I have. And either way, you want any quilting design that is four by four. Any of them will do fine on this one, four by four. And since we are quilting, we're gonna want some batting. So our batting today is gonna to be five by five because our final cut size is four and a half by four and a half. So that means that we want a piece of batting that's five by five or larger. Anything at least five by five works great. And that's it, lucky us. Oh, this is gonna be easy. I'm very excited about this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey all quick tip, depending on the look that you're going for, I decided on plaid for my quilting and then I also used a thread color that matches my main fabric. And the reason I did that is because we're doing words on this block and so I want the words to stand out more than I want anything in the background. So that's my the look I'm going for, personal choice. I did a, a simple quilting design in plaid one and then I used a matching thread.
So after that super easy lucky us block, I think we should just go ahead and do another one, don't you? Plus it's my favorite one actually. So if you know me, you know I like the double pinwheel block. I don't like them when they're not in the hoop. <laughs> I don't like them very much at all, but I love piecing projects and the double pinwheel in the hoop is a piecing project. So if you remember, if you joined me for the winter pillow, we did it for our winter pillow too. So how fun is that? I love it. So we get to do another one for our lucky us pillow this time. So if you have been following along, you've got all of your, um, fabrics together in a packet so that our craft room stays nice and clean. I love that. All right, so for this double pinwheel block, it is going to be with three different fabrics. So let's just talk about the fabrics real quick. So I call them fabric A, B, and C just to make keep it simple. So the yellow one is fabric A, and these are cut to two and a half by three and a half, and we want four of them. So four pieces that are two and a half by three and a half, and I backed mine with fusible stabilizer. So that is a personal preference. I think that they come out really crisp and they come out the right size. If you don't use fusible stabilizer, which most people don't, so do what works for you, but if you don't, the stitching tends to pull it in and it can make it a little bit smaller. So if you get to the end and you realize that your block is actually a little smaller than it needs to be, then a quick fix is to add a piece of fusible stabilizer onto the back of the entire pieced pinwheel. So you could do that and that will give you your seam allowance. So I do it right from the start. I've got fusible stabilizer on the back of all four of my pieces for piece A. This is fabric A, the yellow ones in two and a half by three and a half. That's A. So B is the green striped fabric, green striped fabric. And again, we want four pieces. So four pieces. And I did back mine with fusible stabilizer, like I mentioned. So four pieces of the green stripe, and these we're gonna cut to three by three and a half. So three by three and a half, and this is for fabric B. All right, and I'll go over step by step because I know like which colors go with what, but I'll show you a really good tip. We did it on the winter pillow too, and it just makes life easier. All right, so fabric C is the teal, aqua teal lattice fabric, four pieces, and these are gonna be cut to three by five, three by five for these, and back to fusible stabilizers, what I do, do what works for you four pieces. So my tip on this, double pinwheels, any piecing projects, literally any piecing projects, put them in the order that you're going to use them. So if I recall, it's ABC, let's see. Yeah, so 14710 is the A. Oops, sorry about that. 14710 is the A, and so you're going to put ABC. So one um, right after the other. So just like this. All right. And then keep going like that. So ABC, ABC, ABC. And it just makes it so much easier than um, looking at the directions and coming back. And I keep my directions on the computer generally. And so um, me going back and forth from the embroidery machine to the computer to see now which one am I supposed to do? Just have them in order from the start. It makes it so easy. I promise you'll love it. All right, so double pinwheel block. After that is all done, we are going to trim it down to four and a half by four and a half. So that means that we want a piece of batting that is five by five. And I am gonna use um, the quilting design. Um, it's called Shamrocks from JL Designs. It's an Etsy shop. I will add a link under this video. Um, the official pillow uses St. Saint, Saint Patrick's Day 4, I think it's called, or St. Patrick 4, I think it's called. Um, and it's it's a cute little St. Patrick's Day design from Kimberbell. I don't have that one, so I'm gonna use one that's in my collection that I already have. And basically, any four by four quilting design that you want to use will work just fine on this double pinwheel block. And that's all we need to know, I think, at this time. Yep, we're all good. So let's go ahead and make our double pinwheel block.
So how are you doing with your 2022 goal? Are you organizing your embroidery files, cleaning up your embroidery room? Um, are you working out, eating healthy? So some of you know I injured my knee a few weeks ago and literally couldn't even walk. I was holding onto the walls to try and stand up. And my knee is all healed. I'm back on the bike. I'm walking. I'm, I'm doing so much better. So I'm right back at my goals. Unfortunately, um, had to take a week and a half off or more from my goals. So that was a bummer. But all of you that have been commenting on my videos and telling me what you're doing for your goals has kept me inspired. So keep it up. I love hearing about it. Let's be the best us that we can be for 2022. And today's shirt is hot chocolate and sweater weather because that is exactly what today is with the snow. It's a perfect day for hot chocolate and sweater weather. So this design is from Hoop Mama and the sweater is from my local Fred Meyer. And I will add a link under the video for the Hoop Mama design. <laughs> 